Welcome back to the Handy Landlord. I'm starting the process of painting the hoarder house. It was very overwhelming because there was so much nicotine on the walls and I had no idea how to even begin the process of prepping the walls for paint. I came across a product called TSP that I used to clean all the walls. I mopped every wall in this house with TSP. I did not do the ceilings, but I mopped all the walls. I mean, check out that rack. After cleaning the walls with the TSP, I sanded all the walls with a drywall sander with 120 grit sandpaper to rough up the surface so that I have good adhesion for the new paint. Unfortunately, I lost all of the video content of me talking about the primer, but I did use the product called, called Cover Stain, and I had it color matched to the same color that I used to paint the interiors, which is antique white. Like that. All right, so I just cut in this entire room with uh, one cup in the Graco cup sprayer. The reason why I can cut in the ceiling and the walls are the same color. It's an antique white. I do normally spray most of the above the doors. I hit that one, and I think I hit that one. I've recorded a few things on this before, but just so you guys know, I just hold this right here and then turn that off. And then just pull the bag down some. Comes right off. And then what you want to do with this, just flip it over just like that. So, and then I just go ahead and pour some of the paint, which is there. Paint plus primer in one. Interior eggshell. It's an antique white color. Boom. Take this, take your Greco sprayer, flip it back over. And then this is the kind of tricky part because I like to fill it all the way to the rim because I don't want to stop any more than I have to. Right here is you flip up this tab and then squeeze, squeeze the bag. And it will actually, you'll see some paint start coming out of there. Close that up. That's a mess. I gotta clean this up after this job pretty good. And then what you're going to do is flip this down to prime, prime pump, squeeze the trigger. It's like three seconds or something. Turn it back to spray and good to go. Love it. Now my primer is matched to the paint. So all the walls were already primered to the paint color. You can see how close it is but it makes it a lot easier, hopefully for one coat coverage. This green might be kind of tough and the blue in the next room might be kind of tough to get one coat coverage on. This room, probably not. Definitely really under the gun on this job. It's supposed to be done by the first and today uh, is the 18th. Yeah, so this job is supposed to be done by the first and it's already the 18th and there's still a ton of work to do here. So um, definitely pushing the envelope on that but trying not to miss a month's worth of rent. I already have a tenant lined up to rent this place, believe it or not. Here I'm using the 18 inch roller and the 18 inch tray to knock this job out.
I get to the corner and I turn the roller on its side and jam it in the corner and you almost have no cut in. drywall repair down there that has to has to dry I have the same process for each room I spray all of the baseboard and all of the corners cutting in the room and then I come right behind that and I roll it with the 18 inch roller this is the best system for me I also have a pelican set up with a four inch roller and a paintbrush just in case I can't spray something if I have an entire house to paint, this is normally the process that I use. The only reason why I can do it this way is because the ceiling and the walls are the same color. The trim is the same color. It It's easy to have rentals and have them all, this everything the same color. It might not look the best, but in the end, I, I think that the time that I save is worth it. Bam! And just like that, I've pretty much painted the entire place. All these rooms are painted. I do have some repairs like that that need touched up. All the outlets are getting changed. The switches are getting changed. That window is getting changed. Some of these windows have to be ordered and some of them I have available. Um, I actually know the sizes of them. This isn't my first time going through this type of house I actually own several of the same type of house just like this got all these rooms cleared up my goal so my main goal for tomorrow is to get the living room done and those three bedrooms done and then clear out this kitchen and start removing this wallpaper so we'll see if i can get that stuff done tomorrow but that is the goal i will say uh this is quite the turnaround in a short amount of time. That's it. Thanks for watching and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video.